Good morning, America. How are you? Monday morning rail. Will be 500 miles before the day is done. I'm the train they call the city of New Orleans. Hi, I'm Denny Yelswa, and I'm at the world famous Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum. Today is Monday, and you know what we do on Monday. But before we go there, this program is sponsored by Yelsma Graphics. That's J-E-L-S-M-A dot com on the internet for all of your railroad clothing, embroidery clothing. We've been doing train shows all over the United States since 1985. And our brand new website is up, so make sure you go to yelsma.com. And with all that being said, it's time for Show and Tell. Hi, I'm Greg Turn, and today we're going to spend a little time switching again. If any of you saw the last uh, video where Rodney talked about Fern and Dina and the, and the paper mill there, you remember right at the end we said that we use that particular paper mill to represent four different mills in four different cities uh, depending on which particular railroad we're uh, running that day. Now today we have a seaboard train and the, we're using this as the Fernandina, one of the two Fernandina paper mills because they were both served by the seaboard. And we're lucky we got here just at the right time. The uh, local is just about ready to depart for Baldwin so the first thing we'll see is the local heading out, heading over the Amelia Island Bridge, which is over the Intercoastal Waterway, on its way back to Fernandina, or I mean back to Baldwin. No, let it keep running.
Okay, now we're ready to actually switch the mill. And first I'm going to give you a quick description of the track layout here. There are five tracks in the mill. Track one, which is the first one on the left, is the warehouse. That normally you have one or two cars in the building. Empties ready to be loaded or will be spotted on the warehouse lead. The second track is known as track two. That one has two spots for uh, tank cars to deliver chemicals to the paper mill itself. Track three has, again, two spots, one for kaolin unloading, the silo in the front, and then a spot in the rear uh, for chemicals to go to the power plant. The fourth track is known as wood one. Wood one serves as pulpwood unloading, and it also serves, again, for deliveries uh, to the power plant of uh, equipment or anything else. And then the final track is wood two. Wood two, again, is for pulpwood unloading, and it also, as you can see, has a spot for um, sawdust unloading. And so those are the tracks that we're gonna work with, okay? Again, my switch list tells me what I've got to work on. We have the Seaboard locally assigned switcher, and the first thing it tells me is I've got two loads in the mill to pull. We've got an empty on the lead, and we're gonna um, put, it, again, two loads back in the mill, and then we'll, we'll have, uh, what, how many? We'll have two cars to spot empty, ready to be loaded. So the first thing we're going to do. Just pull. Switching is not paying attention to what he's doing. These are our two loads set on the outbound track. Now, according to our switch list, we have two cars to put into the um, warehouse. The one, first seaboard car, which was already on the lead to be loaded, and seaboard number, let's see, uh, that one's number 19002, which is the first car in our, in our set of cars to switch. So we're going to pull that one out and run these, these back in the mill. Obviously put my 
Katie couplers in, in delay mode. There's no way I'm going to reach all the way back there and uncouple them once they're in the mill. And then the next thing we've got, we, according to the switch list, we've got two cars to spot for loading. And we'll do have to, again, do a little switching because th that is the first and third car. An FEC car and a seaboard car, they're, again, they'll go on to the uh, warehouse lead and be ready to be switched into the warehouse. Again, I'm going to put the coupler in delay, which is one of those really nice features, especially, you know, we have these kind of long, mm, oops, looks like I got a minor derailment there. Mm. Okay, the crew's got the cars back on the track, now we can... Now we can spot them where they belong. And the next next thing on the list, switch list, we're to pull the tank car from track two and pull the covered hopper from the tail unload, unloading on track three. So we'll and so we'll get those. Okay, we'll put these two empties on the outbound track.
Now, the, the tank car, it says, goes to location one on track two. Location one is the closest one to us. So we will... Shove this, this back to location one on track two. Now we're ready for the last thing on two things on the switch list. And that is to pull the empty pulpwood rack on wood run, wood one, and then spot the box car on wood one. And you might ask yourself, why would we be spotting a box car on a wood unloading uh, Track. And the, the answer is, at, at that time, they would sometimes ship uh, pulpwood in boxcars. Hmm. Couples aren't cooperating. And like I said, this particular boxcar is loaded with pulpwood. Now we, the other thing that that, some, that you sometimes would see here would be a box car loaded with uh, sawdust, okay? This time we don't have a sawdust car, but that would have, but if we had a sawdust car, it would have been spotted on wood two back there next to the sawdust pile. Now we'll push those two back. Pick up our last empty.
And now it's time to put the engine away. You may have noticed that there were a few more cars on the front track. That they were also brought in by the local. Uh, we're going to save them for another day when we'll come back and switch the pulp mill again. And that's the activity in Fernandina for the day. And thank you for listening. Well, thank you, Greg. That was really interesting. I really enjoyed that, and we thank you. And that's why we have so much fun here at the world-famous Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum. And that's the way it is at the world-famous Jacksonville Terminal Railroad Museum in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida, where the sun always shines and running trains is a pleasure and air-conditioned comfort.